Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. Expecting us. Sorry, where are they? General Fleming? Yes. yes. I'm Dr. Hale. Dr. Hi, Hale, this, this is our daughter, Abigail. Her mouth is bleeding so much. Did a tooth fall out? I don't no. think so. I think she's too young to lose any teeth, isn't she? Here. Tell you what, Abby. We're gonna take a look at that cut and see what we can do to make it feel better. Okay? Okay. You two can wait right out here, okay? Oh god, I want to be with my no, baby. No. Doctor, is she okay? Huh? Abigail she is baby. just fine. Oh, thank God. It was just a cut in her mouth. We stopped the bleeding, but I would like to keep her here overnight, just to keep an eye on her. Why was she bleeding? What happened? This was lodged in her gum. Could she have gotten hold of some kind of a porcelain trinket? No. No, she doesn't have any trinkets in her room. It's just her toys. Well, you try to figure out what could have caused the injury. Let me know when you find out. You can see your daughter now, if you like. Thank you. She's got to be OK. How is she, Dr. Lee? She has some bruises. She's very shaken, of course. The baby. How's the baby? I'm afraid the baby isn't doing too well, Mr. Black. Is Christian going to lose the baby? We're doing everything we can to prevent that. Dr. Bader is in the delivery room right now. As soon as she's free, I'll consult with her. You know her condition's been very delicate, very unstable to begin with. Yes, and that's why she needs your full support now. You must protect her from any shock or upset. I will. May I see her? Don't stay too long. I won't do anything to hurt you or jeopardize our baby, honey. Mr. Black, would you mind stepping outside for a moment? He doesn't have to leave, Doctor. Uh, it's all right. I'll be right outside. Honey, thank you for making that promise. It means everything to me. 